In this lecture, you will learn how to render conditional contents in React. Here in this React application, we are displaying a list of products and we have these products inside the products array. Now, let's say if we don't have any product inside the products array, in that case, we want to display a message, no products available. And we want to display the list of products when the products array has some products. For example, currently this products array has some products. So it is displaying all those products here in the web page. But if this products array does not have any product, for example, if I go ahead and comment all these products, now this products array does not have any product. Okay, so this products array is empty. If I save the changes, if I go to the web page, and if we refresh the page, no product is being displayed here in the web page. That's because in the product array, we don't have any product. So in such case, what I want is, I want to display a message, no products available. So here, we basically want to render a content conditionally. Let's see how we can achieve this. Let's go back to VS Code. And here, we are rendering this product list inside this product list component. And from here, we are returning this UL element, which is displaying the list of products in the web page. So before this return statement, let's use an if statement. And here, let's check if this props dot new product list, if its length, if it is equal to zero, in that case, we want to return an h3 element. And here we want to say no products available. Okay. Otherwise, if the length is not equal to zero, in that case, we want to return this content. With this, if I save the changes and if I go to the web page, if I refresh the page, we still don't see anything here. That's because here we also need to use return statement because here we want to return this JSX content. Now, if I save the changes and if I go to the web page, now you will notice that it is displaying no products available. But if I go back to app component and if I uncomment these products and now if I save the changes, it should display those product list. If I refresh the page, you will notice that it is displaying that product list. So this is how we can render a content conditionally in React. Now here, instead of using this if statement, we could have also used ternary operator. For that, we could have written it something like this. So here, this is going to be our condition. If this condition is true, that means if the length of this new product list is zero, in that case, we want to return this h3 element. So let me copy it from here. Let's use it here. Otherwise, we want to return this ul element. So let me remove this return statement from here. And let's use that return statement here. Okay, so here we are using ternary operator. Here, first we are checking this condition. If this condition returns true, that means if the length of this new product list is zero, in that case, it will return this h3 element. Otherwise, if the length of this new product list, if it is not zero, if it is greater than zero, in that case, this ul element will be returned. Let's see that. Let's save the changes here. And currently, here in this product array, we have some products. So if I go to the web page, and if I refresh the page, you will see all those products listed here in the web page. But if I go back to VS Code, and if I comment these products again, and if I save the changes, now it should display no products available, as you can see here. So you can also use ternary operator like this. So this is how you can render conditional content in React.